Welcome to JBU Eagle Vision News. Here are today's top stories. Students find valuable work experience during the summer. One local business gets a makeover. And America's favorite pastime is once again going strong at JBU. Direct from the campus of John Brown University, this is JBU Eagle Vision. With Rainisha Robinson and Brian Johns. Entertainment with Rebecca Holland. And sports with Terry Andrew. JBU Eagle Vision, your news starts now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Johns. And I'm Renisha Robinson. Practical work experience is a valuable thing for college students wishing to enter the professional world after graduation. Internships provide students with a way to develop real-world experience before graduation and moving into their careers. Eagle Vision's Adam Barron reports. Into the workforce immediately after graduating, others choose to pursue higher education. Though the education they receive while in college is extremely valuable in determining future career choices, pursuing an internship in their major field is often the most effective way for students to get on-the-job training before graduating and entering the professional realm. Um, in the internship, I feel, was definitely all hands-on experience, and so um, it really helped me to learn everything that, that you would need to know in an everyday life work situation. Um, and just dealing with different cultures as well gave me um, just great experience um, and great knowledge and just um, widening my understanding of how to deal with people in general. There are many internship options available to JBU students. Many local, national, and even international businesses have intern programs for students who wish to become familiar with and develop real-life experience in their particular fields. Former JBU digital media major Daniel Ellis has this advice for students seeking internships. But if you can really find someone that, that you want to do what they're doing and, um, and, and convince them to intern or just work for free for them, um, I think you'll, you'll learn a lot more and you'll also, be able to, um, you'll also be able to really get a good idea of, of what they do more than just from, a, you know, from what you hear or what you see in the final product. While work experience is very important, also of great importance to the people you meet while doing your internship. Not only is it just the fact that, you know, I was able to, you know, learn these things, but the contacts you make in an internship, being able to meet and really work with professionals and get their respect um, will go, can go a long way. For many students who are getting ready to do their internship but aren't sure what they're going to do, it's comforting to know that there are many options available to them through local, national, as well as international companies. Reporting for JBU Eagle Vision, this is Adam Barron. During the summer, Walton students stay on campus to complete core classes. Here's Eagle Vision for Becca Holland with more. The Walker Student Center at John Brown University. The Quad. Two places that are usually teeming with student life. But with summer fast approaching, students will almost disappear from the campus. However, one group of students will still be here. The Walton students take May term classes to balance their heavy load during the semester. It helps me to get rid of the core classes like that are really hard to take in during the semester, so I can just take in one month. Uh, the best part is that you only focus in two classes rather than you know, like six classes and you just have to do homework for two classes and, and really learn from those two classes. The Arkansas heat, as well as lack of transportation, keeps the students inside most of the summer. Well, if I'm with my friends, it's fun, but I wouldn't think it would be fun just by yourself. Mostly, we hang out here. Uh, there are some reasons, and one is that uh, it's really hot outside and uh, inside is really fresh and the second reason is that uh, pretty much the uh, all the people that stays is either international or, or Waltons and we don't have cars so we can't say that we're gonna go out uh, unless somebody decides to take us out of the university. How did the Walton students feel about this arrangement? I wouldn't do my term again just because I really need to take these classes out of my way. Yeah, it was, it was really hard because it's the whole month, but you get to see your friends almost all the time, so almost all my class stays, so it was really fun that day. For JBU Eagle Vision, I'm Rebecca Holland. 
Coming up, good food and good atmosphere. If you're looking for a place to eat in Siloam Springs, you might want to stay tuned. For more info, go to operationgraduation.com. In a fast-paced world full of quick service, restaurants, and people in a hurry, it has become increasingly rare to find a slower, more homey atmosphere. But right here in Siloam Springs, the idea of down-home country cooking is still alive and kicking. Here's more. The residents of Siloam Springs are all very familiar with Kathy's Corner, a small local business known for its excellent home-style cooking. Kathy Bullduck, the owner and operator of the restaurant, was once the assistant food director at John Brown. She lost her position when the food service company she was working for, Pioneer, lost its contract with JBU. Having formerly ran her own restaurant in Connecticut for 17 years, she knew exactly what she was doing. This place came available and my husband talked me into it. So I mean, I've been doing it for somebody else for years and years, I should do it for myself. So that's how Kathy's Corner started back in 1999. Kathy and her team strive to create an atmosphere that makes customers feel like they're back at home in their own kitchen, cooking up a nice big omelet or throwing together a BLT or a hamburger on the grill. With this in mind, the staff of Kathy's Corner provides good old fashioned country style service with a smile. I want everybody to feel like they're at home. Home, home style cooking, home, home atmosphere. Everybody really knows everybody. It's just sometimes we even start cooking food when people walk through the door because we know what they're going to have. So you know that kind of a that kind of an atmosphere. Very casual but, but friendly. Tuesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., customers come from far and wide to drop in and have a taste of the generous portions and delicious food, along with the friendly atmosphere that is a part of everyday activity at Kathy's Corner. It's good food. Know, and uh, that's what we strive to do to, and we give plenty of it so you don't walk away from here hungry if you do it's your own fault because we really do like to feed you. Located across the street from r, &R used truck sales and John's Meat Market, Kathy's Corner provides Siloam Springs with down-home country cooking at its best. Reporting for JBU Eagle Vision, I'm Brian John. You're asking me? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Uh. <laughs> no. 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 Nope. No. No. <laughs> Will you go to the prom with me? No. Oh, please. For more info, go to operationgraduation.com. The VIP salon and day spa has been giving hair makeovers in Salem Springs for the past 16 years. But just recently, it wasn't the patrons of this business who received a makeover. Michael Siebert has more on this story. Located in Spring Creek Village on Highway 412, the VIP salon and day spa has been home to countless hair makeovers in their 16-year history. But the latest makeover to take place at the VIP salon and day spa was to the salon itself. I was out of town for three days. I got to go to Las Vegas for a little short little vacation. And when I came back at midnight from Tulsa Airport, I noticed the lights were on in the salon. And I thought, why would they be on? So I pulled in to find several of the employees and my daughter-in-law painting and redoing the salon. So it was like, wow, I was overwhelmed. The renovations made to the salon were very much needed even if it took the makeover to bring this to light. This has served us well, and I think it'll still be a good area in Salem in the next 10 years also. So taking that into mind and looking for some financing and a good flooring company, they came in and redid the flooring. And I think that's when it really popped. It just brought it all together, all the, and I shouldn't say little things, because they were major things to us, such as our shampoo area that we work in every day. And, 
our stations themselves and, and repainted those and it just brightened us up to come to work every day. I've been coming to work here 16 years and I didn't know it was that bad. Like the whole look has come together, um, everything from, you know, uh, the carpets and floors to the office, you know, the little things all brought it together and it feels um, a lot more like organized kind of because everything coordinates. Not only has the salon's makeover made work more enjoyable for the employees, its aesthetic value has brought delight to many customers. We appreciate it so much just from a working point of view and of course I'm touched my heart because my kids did it for me. And then our customers come in and you know they think we did it for them so we just say yes. <laughs> we just did this for you guys. To her children and employees who made this new look possible, Diana Vashon says thanks for the stylish and needed new look. For JBU Eagle Vision, I'm Micah Seaburn. After the break, see how some students are decreasing stress here at JBU. I miss that guy with all my heart. We shared classes together, we survived the lectures, and we took the tests, and we told the jokes. But now I must look at the empty desk with an empty heart, unable to rest. While all the other kids laugh and play, I only remember that one day when my best friend Jeff was taken away. I love you, Jeff. KLRC can now be heard loud and clear in the Bentonville area thanks to our new translator at 99.1. You can now listen clearly if you work or live in the Bentonville area. It's a strong signal just for you. We hope that the signal boost will encourage you to share Christian music with a friend. Feel free to let us know what you think of our new 99.1 frequency by calling our listener comment line at 524-7222. 101.1 KLRC and now 99.1. We are the positive difference. The itsy bitsy spider went up the went um went up the went up the went up the Get proper nutrition before it's too late. I forget. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Stress is one of the major factors that affect college students. Here at John Brown University, students have learned to relieve stress through many creative ideas. With more, I reported Diana Sasso. Here at the campus of John Brown University, stress is one of the factors that affect many students. There are many ways to relieve stress, but here are a few techniques that are very unique well, and might actually help what you. I usually do is I take long showers and I just get out whenever I feel cold water and in the shower I use to pray so that helps a lot so well that's my way for many students the definition of stress is distraction and also <laughs> not focusing in your priorities <laughs> Um, I usually read books, uh, books that are not from school, or usually hang out with friends, or just talk with my family, and do something outside of school, because school is what stresses me more, okay. the more, the most. Thank you. For some JBU students, they have an opportunity to take what they've learned here at 101.1 KLRC and inspire their peers when they go back home. With more, here's Michael Kahn. In the beginning, it all started with a dream at a Central Texas radio station, 89.9 KBDE. A dream that would take a native Texan 500 miles away from home to a place where he would find more. John Brown University and Dove award-winning Christian radio station The Positive Difference 101.1 KLRC has helped take him along the journey. KBDE was the first chance he got to actually get on the radio and it was kind of like his dream come true and then when he started going to John Brown University I mean he just grew in knowledge that you know he's always coming home showing me like oh check this out check this out you know this is awesome you know and so uh, I appreciate you, John Brown University, for uh, helping out, Michael. On a recent trip back home to Central Texas, I had an opportunity to inspire other students with the same dream and same goals with the skills I learned at John Brown University. 
It's a pleasure of mine to actually join the team here at 89.9 KBDE. It's been a true educational experience. I have learned, I have learned great deals of respect. I have learned articulation. I have learned creativity. Working at a Dove Award winning Christian radio station 101.1 KLRC in a great environment like this has given me the skills and the tools that I brought back home with me in Central Texas to inspire and encourage my fellow college students with the same dream that I have to become a better Christian broadcaster. Thanks to God's direction and JBU, the JBU broadcasting program has allowed amazing things to happen. Well, anyway, have you heard they're coming out with those new $10 bills? I've seen one. Yeah, so anyway, since they're coming out with those new $10 bills, we just want to remind our listeners that you can just send your old $10 bills straight to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For JBU Eagle Vision, I'm Michael Kahn. Sports is up next after the break. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I live the Army values. I will never. I will never. I will never accept defeat. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough. I am a professional. I am a professional. I am the guardian of freedom. And the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am the Army National Guard. Defend freedom. In the Army National Guard, you can. Visit 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM today. You're watching JBU Eagle Vision News. Here's Terry Andrew with a look at sports. Thanks, Brian. Baseball has become a part of our com community here at John Brown University. In past years, it has developed to the club level and is now competing against other clubs and schools around the region. Here's more on this story. John Brown University has many sporting activities that students may be involved in. One of the least talked about sports on campus is baseball, which was once guys coming together, throwing a few pitches and hitting home runs. The sport has developed over the past years and through students' participation, the team joined the National Club Baseball Association, NCBA, in 2004 to compete with major schools. Senior Brandon McLean said despite the rough season, it is still fun. Well, uh, it's, been, it's been a little bit of a, a rough season. We haven't gotten as many wins as we'd like, but uh, you know we're playing good ball and it's, it's just fun for us all to be able to come out here and, and just have fun. The main purpose of the Golden Eagles Baseball Club is for the men of JBU to participate in organized games and be Christian witnesses to the clubs and schools while playing baseball. The question of the team's maturity in turning into a varsity team was asked and one player thinks that they are a long way from being at the varsity level. Uh, I think as far as the baseball team turning into a varsity team goes, um, we're going to need some recruiting, you're going to need a coach someone to uh, to take charge as far as, I mean, students can't can't coach a varsity team, obviously. Um, but, the, you know, the student coaching is what keeps it fun. So being a club team, you know, NCBA club is, is becoming a lot more competitive and we enjoy it. Um, so being a varsity team is probably not a priority for us at this point. The JBU team has lost 11 games and won once throughout the spring season. But the results does not matter to some players because they like playing here and it's all about having fun. I I like playing for JBU. It's been a pleasure. It's been fun. Um, we basically are about fun out here. We're not that good, but we like to play. The team boasts a 14-man roster with two freshmen, four sophomores, four juniors, and four seniors. Believe it or not, homework isn't the only thing students at JBU fill their days with. With more, here's Brian Foster. With the pressures of school that can sometimes make students go crazy, a little time away from homework can be beneficial. One of the ways students relax is by joining an intramural team. Intramurals are sports that pit one on-campus team against another team from the same campus. Teams are usually made up of friends or sweet mates. Intramural sports include volleyball, soccer, softball, flag football, basketball, dodgeball, and a few other sports. 
Just as soon as one sport is over, another one is ready to start. Some students play because they used to participate in sports in high school. Because it's fun to mess around with sports. I used to play football, and I enjoy that, and I really like softball. One of the largest differences between intramurals and regular college sports is the atmosphere. In intramurals, the goal is just to have fun. Uh, just for fun, to hang out with my buds, play on a team with my buds. For most, winning is an added bonus. <laughs> no, I don't do it to win. I don't play to win. I'm pretty terrible, and I'm not athletic at all, and so we just play for fun. The sports aren't just for students. Faculty and staff can also join a team. In fact, during the flag football season, the president of JBU, Chip Pollard, was on a team, as was his wife. The biggest complaint about intramurals, the climb up the 100 steps after the game. Or you could just drive a car. Reporting for JBU Eagle Vision, I'm Brian Foster. Thank you, Brian. So if you want to watch or play, JBU offers plenty of options for sports enthusiasts. That's all for sports. Back to you, Brian and Venetia. Thanks, Terry. We'll take a look at some JBU students' favorite memories here at John Brown. For more info, go to OperationGraduation.com. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I live the Army values. I will never... I will never... I will never... Accept defeat. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough. I am a professional. I am a professional. I am the guardian of freedom. And the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am the Army National Guard. Defend freedom. In the Army National Guard, you can. Visit 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM today. You're asking me? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Uh... <laughs> no. 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 Nope. No. No. <laughs> Will you go to the prom with me? No. Oh, please. For more info, go to OperationGraduation.com. Eagle Vision reporter Micah Seabird catches up with students at John Brown University to see what their most memorable experience were of their collegiate career. 2005 undoubtedly held many ups and downs for the students of John Brown University. For the last episode here of Eagle Vision, we're going to try to catch up with some students and find out what their most memorable experiences were of the 2005-2006 academic year or their most uh, memorable experience for their collegiate career. I think the most memorable aspect of my college career has probably happened outside of the classroom and just the relationships I built just with people that I met in my classes that had the same passion and just people that I met in my hall and, uh, and outside activities and intramural games and things like that just relationships built and time spent with those people. Um, that one time with Emily and Ricky they know what I'm talking about I mean I don't know if I can give the details here or not but they know what I'm talking about. I would probably have to say one of the most memorable experiences of my collegiate career thus far is spending a semester in Africa um, last fall. So uh, that doesn't really have anything to do with John Brown except for that, the fact that John Brown gave me that opportunity. One time during the finals week semester, friend and I, we were all going backpacking. We were in the long line of uh, cars. There were about five or six of us. And, uh, uh, sorry. Um, and then... <laughs> Uh, uh, we saw a turtle on the road, and so we we saved the turtle, and we named it. Where where are you going? Uh, yeah, we called the turtle Jasper, and we kept him underneath the desk for a week. I'm here interviewing Tim Kramer uh, for Micah Siebert's final project. I'm guessing. Um, Tim, Tim, excuse me, Tim. What has been your most incredible experience here at JBU? I hold the mic. Sorry. <laughs> My most memorable experience at John Brown University is meeting my soon-to-be wife. What's her name? What's her name? Dana Nagel. Why do you like her so much? Because she's cute. Why is she cute? Because she's like a little squirrel. A little squirrel, folks. 
isn't that sweet and wonderful and uh, it kind of gets you all fuzzy inside doesn't it Jay Alvin on the lawn because it was snowing one day dang it it was snowing and we got all the guys from Jay Alvin to lay in the shape of a J and an A in the snow all day long and it's pretty sweet well, in my freshman year, we went to a mission trip to Mexico with some people from here, and that was an awesome experience, getting to know more people and just, um, I don't know, having a trip together, driving and airplane and everything. That one time with Pete and Ricky, they know what I'm talking about. Sarah Crop would like me to say that being an RD at the duplexes, especially uh, over the RAs, uh, has been my most memorable experience at JPM. My most memorable experience at John Brown has been getting to know the Walton students on campus and participating in a lot of their celebrations and parties and um, just learning better like how to speak Spanish and um, getting involved in different uh, programs, uh, not exactly like the cause ministries and things like that, but just getting involved in the community as an individual. Um, Mark Strauss is the best part of my experience at JBU. Being an RA under him is like, like eating cheesecake all day, every day. And that's all I have to say. What does Lauren have to say about that? Uh, oh, no, I forgot about that. And um, I love you, Lauren. Mine would have to be uh, finding Sarah. Um, there's many reasons I ended up coming to the school, but one of them has always been that um, to find, you know, that that special someone, and uh, she definitely is that for me. She's uh, my best friend and everything I ever want, and uh, she's she's my most memorable experience every day. My most memorable moment at John Brown University is probably my birthday party this year when my friends put on the 30-hour Karen Hartman, that's me, extravaganza, and put together all my favorite things, and we toured three different states and numerous theme parks, and we did break dancing, and I ate lots of my favorite foods, and I have friends at JBU who love me. Together, that is my most memorable moment at John Brown University. Eating the first time in the cafe, you know. That one time with Pete and Emily, they know what I'm talking about. Hi, Tim Kramer here with JBU Eagle Vision. I'm interviewing Andrew Bolger, a uh, junior here at John Brown University, and we will be asking him a very important question. Andrew, what is your most memorable experience at John Brown University? Uh, my most memorable experience at John Brown University has been... Um, uh, men's retreat last year. That was awesome. That's all I have to say. Excellent. My most memorable experience at John Brown University is working as MIR with my wife. Que tengas un buen día. Thank you guys for watching today. It has been a pleasure. And Brian, thanks for being a wonderful Host and Thank you, Ray. And, this has yeah. been a blast doing this with you. I know. This educational. Been, like, very educational. Imagine that. Great educational. cast. We appreciate everybody who put the show together. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Renisha Robinson. And I'm Brian Johns. Have a blessed week.